and he has a YouTube channel where he's known as Mr. Cloud. Last week, I was talking at EOH Connect about the three big changes that will affect all of us. One was artificial intelligence. Last week, Google at the Google I.O. conference announced this new technology called the Google Duplex. It's a, a behavior for Google Assistant. I don't know if you heard about it, but it's pretty amazing. And during my speech, I was telling the direction in which uh, AI was going to go. And uh, I think that Google did another step forward exactly in that direction. So Google Duplex uh, is a behavior for Google Assistant where if you want to make an appointment or do something that you have to do on the phone, because uh, it turns out that now most of the things uh, that we do that takes a lot of time is making phone calls to book for things. And there isn't a booking system for everything, right? So let's say that we need to make an appointment for something that I would never use, a haircut, for example. Uh, for May the 3rd, between 10 and 12. Now, a Google Assistant will make the call for you with an artificial intelligence and semantic engine with a digital voice. There's been so much announced that will basically pretend to be human. On the left side of the screen is the artificial intelligence engine from Google. On the right, a real person answering the phone. Take a listen. Hello, how can I help you? Hi, I'm calling to book a woman's haircut for a client. Um, I'm looking for something on May 3rd. Sure, give me one second. Mm-hmm. Sure, what time are you looking for around? At 12 p.m. We do not have a 12 p.m. available. The closest we have to that is a 1.15. Do you have anything between 10 a.m. and uh, 12 p.m.? Depending on what service she would like, what service is she looking for? Just a woman's haircut for now. Okay, we have a 10 o'clock. 10 a.m. is fine. Okay, what's her first name? The first name is Lisa. Okay, perfect. So I will see Lisa at 10 o'clock on May 3rd. Okay, great. Thanks. Great. Have a great day. Bye. Did you hear that? I mean, seriously, the ums and the mm-hmm, it sounds so human, so plausible, so realistic. And if you think that it is prepared, there's a number of examples that uh, I will list in the post, uh, in the blog post. But let's take a listen to another example where the challenge is even higher. The call doesn't go as predicted, so the artificial intelligence engines have to adapt to what the other person says. And on top of that, the other person on the line has got an accent, like me, more or less. Take a listen. See how may I hear you? Hi, um, I'd like to reserve a table for Wednesday the 7th. For seven people? Um, it's for four people. Four people when? Um, Today, next Wednesday at 6 p.m. Oh, actually we leave here for like upper like five people. For few, four people you can come. How long is the wait usually to uh, be seated? For when tomorrow or weekday or? For next Wednesday, uh, the 7th. Oh, no, it's not too busy. You, you, you can come for four people, okay? Oh, I gotcha. Thanks. Bye-bye. Yeah. So we don't know a lot about what's behind it, but if you follow the pattern of what Google is doing, especially with uh, deep learning, they put the artificial intelligence engine to learn by themselves, uh, putting them through a lot of routines, so learning for, in this example, phone calls, uh, how humans would behave and all of that. Somebody said that, that all those little words that human would say, like hum and all of that, are uh, programmed by uh, the Google developers. Um, I think that those are, are variables uh, into the system, but when to use them is learned automatically by the AI engine, listening to a lot of phone calls. Now, the question is, first of all, would you be fine with uh, having a robot on the other side of the line uh, talking to you? Number two, uh, how long does it take before they make a law that you need to declare upfront that he's a robot? And if it does ha that does happen, then it defeats the purpose. Because imagine if you pick up a phone call, so you are on the salon on the other side of the restaurant and say, oh, this is a Google Assistant, I would like to ask. Of course, most people would put just the phone down. So there's a lot of uh, ethics, or rules and regulation that will come with uh, this technology, but it's fascinating where it's going because this is really deep learning um, evolving autonomously into learning more how a human behaves. And this technology from Google, actually what you just listened to, 
has passed the Alan Turing test. Alan Turing, 1950, uh, defined that uh, the moment that a machine behaves in a way that cannot be discriminated from a human being uh, passed uh, his test that he named after himself, 1950. Today, that test has been crashed. Mm -hmm. And if you check on Twitter, there's already a lot of uh, controversy around this technology. Uh, a lot of people against it, others very excited, and it's between being scary and very exciting. But my question is, where are we going? This is just a stepping stone. This is what I was talking about during my keynote. If you see the direction where we are going, we are rising the bar continuously. So what is the difference between doing these voice uh, assistant calls and doing telemarketing calls or doing fraudulent calls or doing whatever other kind of calls? Let me know what you think in the comment section below and I'll see you at the next one. Thank you for watching. And he has a YouTube channel where he's known as Mr. Cloud. Please give a warm welcome to Simone Zanetti. Good morning.